Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Mother's Day to all of you wonderful women out there who are serving as moms, grandmothers, aunts, uh, adoptive parents, foster moms. You guys are all amazing and uh, I know Mother's Day is one of my favorite days. I had the world's best mom. I love, love being a mother. So I hope you do too. Every year for the past 10 years, 11 years, Todd blesses me every Mother's Day with my most favorite thing and takes me shopping for all the flowers I want. Whether it's hanging baskets, porch decorations, or new perennial flowers, You said I could get whatever I wanted. And this year, guys, I'm doing my new flower bed around the garden, so I have all of the things behind me. And we're gonna go do that together and just be in my happiest place in the world. Honestly, happier probably than gardening for me is planting flowers and shrubs and things that will come back every year. So we have a mix of things and we're gonna see what we can do with it. And we're gonna watch it grow together over the years to come. So let's get these loaded and let's head out there. Well, we're all loaded up. I almost missed a flat. So heading out to the garden now and I need to do some bed amendments first. So we need to prep the garden bed properly before we plant all these. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Let's go.
Dad did such a good job leveling it all out for me. I went behind him and made a mess and put on a decent layer of peat moss and some perlite so I can mix that in well. It's just gonna hold, uh, well, two things. Allow for better drainage and um, aeration and also act like a good moisture hold um, wick too to hold on to moisture. So now the tedious task, the fun task, the am I making the right decisions? I'm gonna go through and start placing things where I think I want them. I don't think you guys saw in the last video, we did make a bed just on the opposite side of the gate. So Todd is bringing around the topsoil to fill that one. And uh, I think it's just gonna be absolutely glorious. So let me get creative. And uh, I'm by no means a master flower gardener. I just like playing. So let's see what we can come up with. It's already getting tricky. <laughs> I love a really crowded flower garden. So everywhere I've ever lived, I really pack things in because I want it to look super full. Um, of course, leaving space for it to grow. So I guess I'm looking at now, I have this uh, painted double mixed daisy and uh, I've got two of those I need to find homes for. I still have that whole bed. Um, it's not going to be completely balanced, but um, I'll make sure that's going to be mostly more my perennial herbs. I'm going to do a horseradish in there. Um, interesting. Interesting choices, Rachel. I was <laughs> just walking around grabbing things and not like didn't take a layout with me. So it's going to be tricky to see where it all fits. It's, some are tall, some are medium. So like this, these lupins, I've never grown them before. They get 36 inches tall. So I'm thinking they probably need a post to hold on to, just in case I need to tie them together. Bring these lavenders in. Bring my daisy in. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty yellow one.
<laughs> Todd keeps laughing at me because I just keep rubbing <laughs> dirt on my nose and my lip, but that's what I look like when I garden. So I found this great stump. I absolutely love it for the entrance. It has a big hole in it. It's just gnarly looking right here. Just really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna fill it with just a mix of peat moss, some sand, some dirt, and I got this super cute perennial grass. And it has these little tiny white flowers that are on the tips of it, and that's gonna go in there. I think it's just gonna be darling. Got a lot, got it all set out, ready to go. There's a lot of uh, moving parts around. All right, take him out. Ooh, come on, wake up, roots. Hopefully, I don't know how long the stump's gonna last. Hopefully it lasts for a while. It's been sitting over in our uh, forest for quite some time that Todd took it, um, took a tree down and Doesn't that look darling? Love it. So darn cute. It's like it's always been there, huh? All right, well, I do have everything laid out. I'm not quite sure how to share it all with you. Like if I should plant it and share it while I'm planting it or just get my work done and come back and share it with you over time. Uh, I know I'm gonna forget what half the things are. But let me just, while I'm here, show you a couple of the things. So I got a whole bunch of fun sedums, all different varieties uh, that are drought tolerant, and of course, and they can just sit on the edge and kind of grow out over the logs. Mm. Don't know what this guy's called. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Gum? Gium? And it gets these big red flowers on it and blooms all summer and they grow 18 inches tall. Perennials, everything's perennials. Lots of, of the creeping phlox. I grow this uh, just about everywhere I've ever lived and it's so super hardy, super drought tolerant, continuous blooms all summer long and it does creep. And so it will creep over the edges. So those are all along the edges with the sedum. Um, Two roses for the entrance. They are not a tall rose. They're called a, um, it's, the variety is called red, bla red drift. So they only get like, um, not very tall. Uh, beach wormwood. Has it, I've heard of wormwood and I know it has a purpose. So I'm excited to grow that. I need to research it. Um, I have a whole bunch of different times that will act as ground cover. They are uh, a whole flat of time in that one, English thyme in this one, oregano is in this garden, pineapple sage, two other sages, cilantro, um, a lupin, and I think that's just about it in this garden. Did I show you guys these ones? Oh, that's the wormwood. There's also something called Rose Campion Angel Blush, and it looks really pretty. It almost looks like, um, as if you would picture lambs here, but it gets like these pretty flowers on it. So I'm gonna grow some of those. And then over here, crazy amounts of stuff. So I'm gonna get to planting.
Okay guys, well that bed, the little one is all done. I think it looks good. Let me get out of the way. Hopefully you guys can see it. It'll be beautiful when the pineapple sage grows up and the delphinium and, or the lupins and the roses. Oops, I just see one I forgot to plant. So I'll get him planted. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to take me a very long time to plant. It's dinner time. I'm gonna go in and have dinner. So you guys come back. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, I'd invite you to subscribe so you can come see how this garden turns out. Um, tomorrow I'll probably go get some uh, straw mulch to put over everything after it's all planted and said and done uh, just to keep the soil moist and uh, I think it's just going to be absolutely glorious to follow follow this for the next few years and see how it matures. Um, so plant perennials friends. I know annuals are fun, but uh, those perennial plants are one-time investments um, if you take care of them well and they'll keep coming back for you and get better and better every year. I cannot believe I finished this. <laughs> I told you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna get it done today. I, I, I honestly did not think I was going to, but it was just so much fun that I couldn't wait to see it done. Oh, I wish you could see it through my eyes with the sun shining through. My gosh, I'm so dirty. <laughs> Mama needs a bath. Uh, but so fun, so fun. I can't wait. See all these cute little sedums gonna be growing over the logs. Is the vision gonna come together? Wait and see. Follow along this summer and we'll see if, they, <laughs> if we make it and if it fills out really good. I think I am going to um, put a couple, maybe three or four sunflowers in here, one on each post. Um, we'll see how, how the things fill out that I planted by the post. So I think I have a few extra, it looks like one, two, three, four extra times. Um, it is called mother of time and they are beautiful so i planted a lot of time a lot of ground cover things to help just um, keep the weed pressure down and uh, just be a good gr natural ground cover um, so i think i have three extra of these that we will see if we can fit in the front bed oh isn't he so cute oh so cute and um We'll just keep adding to the garden uh, flower beds for the next couple years. Uh, I want to do the side behind you guys, and I want to do the back side. The side by the pig garden we can't do because we barely have enough room for our tractors to get in there when we need to. So um, it's going to be just fence on that side. I have this one was baby's breath so many things I didn't tell you what I planted several daisies um, black-eyed Susans miniature roses tons of lavender um, so come back come back and see how it looks mid-July full summer bloom it's gonna be great Thanks guys for coming along and again, happy Mother's Day. Hopefully you got to do what brings you joy the most on Mother's Day. If that's stay in bed and binge watch, I hope you got that wish. 
for me, it's always getting my hands dirty and planting flowers. Love you guys and wish you the best this week. Talk to you later.